Let me work out some more, man. Howdy out there and Merry Christmas. It's another episode of Got a Blender. It's number 18. Happy holidays, guys. Good, good week. I hope you're done week. shopping because it's nuts out there. Is you better, you've been better off you just shop online, man. You're a sucker going out to the stores, dude. I actually have this whole weekend to do my shopping. You yeah. think I'll survive? Nope. 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 Well, as usual, we're going to tell you our top five of this week. I'm going to do two. He's going to do two, and we're going to try to agree on one. So uh, he's going to get us started. What, what's uh, your first pick, Captain? Number five. Um, first time we picked them. Um, no one's ever picked a Spider-Man comic here. I'm going to pick a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man today. It was all right. It was good. That's why it's number five. Um, I picked it mainly because of, um, if you haven't read the other series, there's a new villain for Spider-Man. It's pretty good. It's, um, when Spider-Man pretty much got killed, or got killed by Morlin, mm -hmm. Morin, um, he cocooned himself into to a different spider, Spidey, you know? Right. Well, his remains, his flesh, turned into some type of other villain, and they haven't concluded what's that about. Uh -huh. You get a little taste of that. You get a little, you get a little, little, little drool little going. Touch of it, little touch of the taste. And um, I totally recommend it if you're into the other series. I don't know. Right on. What issue number is that? Number four, fifteen. Um, they have a new artist on it now. Who's the new artist? I mean, because uh, uh, it's, it's written by Peter David and Scott Eden. Right on. Right on. Sweetness. Yeah. Uh, when Dingo uh, took off from this title and he went over to Mrs. Marvel, so uh, he will be missed on the friendly title. But I'm loving Miss Marvel. I read that one this week, but I couldn't bring myself to make it my number four. What I did make my number four was Iron Man and Captain America, Civil War, Casualties of War. And all these titles, they keep trying to pack in the word war. War, 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 war. Yes, we know it's a war. Anyways, this book is pretty sweet because they give you a lot of history in this. And actually, in the end of the book, they give you a list of all the references they made and what issue to try to track them down on. So if you don't already have them, you might be screwed because I bet the price is jacking up on eBay. Yeah. Um, anyways, what the deal is on this one, Captain America and Iron Man secretly meet at the old Avengers headquarters when they have a little chat, and actually a long chat, and they end with a friendly spar. I didn't really understand that part, but it was pretty sweet. Um, but the deal is, this is confusing, and it makes me sick to my stomach because I can't decide which is the better choice, yeah, registration yeah. or resistance anymore because they make very powerful arguments. It's going to be a good one to check out. Not much action, but a lot of good information, so pick it up. Pick it up, Matthew. I don't know, Dave. I already read it. Good. So choose. Good. Number three. <laughs> number three. Iron Man number 14. Another tie-in. Civil War week, that's for sure. That's right. A lot of them. Well, this one was a goodie. Oh, Civil War. Um, writing it, Daniel and Charles Knuff and Patrick Zyker, or, um, Zach Zyker is doing the art. And, um, this one was killer, man. Happy Hogan, um, Iron Man's assistant Hogan. and very good friend in the previous, <laughs> not Hulk Hogan, Happy Hogan. I know. I don't think you know. It's not wrestling. <laughs> this is comic book world. Yeah, here. Anyways, um... Happy Hogan gets attacked by Spy Master, and um, he's in the hospital, pretty much about to die. It's last words about coming about. Actually, nothing. Just making that up. Anyways, um, him and Cap, Spider Man, get in a little duel, a little fight. Which is cool about it. Um, Iron Man figures out Spider Man's spider sense, and you gotta read it. It's really cool. He anticipates Spider Man's spider sense, and Pretty much kick Spider-Man's butt. Cool. Hate to say it, but he does. It's good action. A weenie, dude. What? A what? <laughs> Freaking this Marvel's a weenie. Yeah. Or she doesn't have one, but she's loser. Too right. I hate her. Played me like a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, New Avengers number 26 ran out and jumped on our stance today, and it's awesome. It's not a Civil War title, and that's kind of what makes it cool. Um, if you read any of the House of Vim, you're going to love this one. It's dealing a lot with uh, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch, as you can see on the cover. Um, Bendis is uh, rocking out. He's doing the job. Uh, let's see, what's this dude, Maliv? Alex Maliv is tackling the pencil chores on this one. I love this guy. He doesn't have the contemporary... Uh, comic book art style. He brings a little artsy, you know, tone to it, a little difference in what you're typically used to seeing in this stuff. Um, 
what the deal is, is Hawkeye wakes up, he goes, why am I alive? What's going on here? And he needs to go and check out Strange to help him figure that out. Um, he puts him on the right track as far as letting him know that Scarlet Witch freaked out and killed everybody and made a mess of the mutant community. But at any rate, he goes and tries to find her. And he uh, catches up with her, but she's not really understanding what's going on either. She got some like a, some amnesia type deal? It, it must be. She doesn't remember it's anything. It's going around. It's going around. Who are you? Where am I? What, what are we doing? Alright. Check this one out. It's fun, fun, fun. Not Again, not a lot of action, but a lot of useful information, interesting storyline carrying on through this one. So, there good we one, have good it. One. There we have it. What's your, what's your number, uh, what's your number two? That was actually number two. Oh, we're at number one already? <laughs> That's number one. We're on number one now. We're on number one now? <laughs> awesome, because this is what I've been waiting for. New Avengers <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati is rad, dude. Good. Uh, awesome. Know. Nobody knows what's going on with this. There's a reason why, because it never existed before, but they're making it up as they go along and letting yeah. you know that, you know, secretly all these characters have been formed together yeah, as amazing. a secret little alliance and taking care of chores throughout the Marvel history. This one picks up where the squirrels and Kree Kree had Scroll a war. war going on. And um, the, uh, the Illuminati made an appearance. Yeah. They're like, don't come back to Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what had happened is they had uh, Kree and Skrull had a skirmish on Earth, and in the middle of this, the Illuminati stepped in and broke that up. They sent them with their tails behind their legs, and they catch up with them on a Skrull world, and are trying to convince Skrull to never come back. They thought they had it going on, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, Good action. you know, I'm gonna try Some to torture. blame it up, so I'm not giving you too much right here. They get captured, they get tortured, a lot of fun, escaping, blah de blue So, read it, read it, read it. Next time they're tackling, what was it? What was it? That's right, the Infinity the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Watch out! So, that's what's up. Good. That's our number one. That was the best book this week by me and Matt Standard. So, we're going to go ahead and check out some more Christmas cover goodness for the cover of the week. Check it out! Look at that, look at that. Look at that cover. It's the last one, last one, I promise. No more Christmas stuff. Going back to real covers of the week. But yeah, Christmas is awesome, I like it. It's all right. Anyways, a lot of stuff came out this week that overflowed our order boxes. Mm -hmm. And next week is equally as impressive. That's I'm gonna tell you a couple of the books that we thought are gonna be choice for next uh, next week's. Man, what, what'd you got going for your first one, man? I got Hawk. I, or, sorry, Connor Hawk, Dragon's Blood. It's a good title right now. You like Green Arrow? Dude, I love that book. Sweet. Great, great. Got a, he's actually going to competition, see who's the best archer in the world. In the world. So I'm looking forward to it. In the world. Sweet. What about you? Well, you know what? Next week, I'm not picking any mainstream stuff because Ninja Scroll number four is coming out, and that's been rocking. It's good, man. The, the art is sweet, and it's a quick read. It's all right. You, you, you could find literally any time of the day to read that comic book. Is this, is this the last one, or is it, gonna, is it ongoing? Uh, I believe this is a miniseries. I don't know how far it's going. Okay. I, think it, I think it might be four. Cool, Hopefully cool. more. It's going to be sweet. Hopefully not. Uh, trust you on the good pick. Um, better trust me. <laughs> next one, um, Onslaught number two. Um, seating up. No, you like that little. You hate Rob Liefeld. If you get past his pencils, Man, the story is good. The story is good. Hey, if you want your eyes to bleed, <laughs> you saw what happened to Richard. You saw that. He's gone. His, his eyes, eyes bleed were bleeding. To death. You know, you bleed to death. You can't read Layfield comic books. How about I read it to you? We get radioactive suits just to take them out of the boxes and handle them. Can I read it to you? Because it's real 